Royal Barge, Harry promptly stepped back in allowing Meghan to take lead at biggest event yet. He has spent his entire adult life carrying out solo engagements so Prince Harry could be forgiven for momentarily forgetting his manners when he was forced to share the spotlight with his fiancée today. The royal was joined by Meghan Markle at a Commonwealth Youth Forum reception on Wednesday, with the couple being introduced to a group of delegates at the Queen Elizabeth II Conference Center. But in the rather awkward exchange, Harry, 33, went in to shake hands with one man at the same time as Meghan causing him to bump into his future bride. The prince promptly stepped back, before apologizing and allowing Meghan, 36, to take the lead. The son has got his hat on this week and Meghan Markle's dress was summertime appropriate as she arrived with Prince Harry to a reception for the Commonwealth Youth Forum. Embracing the warmer weather, Meghan had chosen an off-white dress by Al Chazara for the occasion that felt casual with its pockets and split front yet sophisticated enough for a royal to be with a double-breasted button finish. The piece comes from the Al Chazara Resort 2018 line, which was a collection that reimagined office wear, giving it a modern spin, as demonstrated with this pinstriped pick. Meghan often wears brands favored by the Duchess of Cambridge and Al Chazara is one of them, with Kate being spotted in a blue polka dot piece by the label in 2016. Add in a sharp camellia and mark blazer, tomorrow melon heels and a bag by a rodent and it's our favorite of Meghan's looks to date. Want a copy? Click right to snap this exact dress up now. Alternatively, shop similar striped options below by Urban Outfitters, Mango and more. Just minutes later, Harry was forced to explain the difference between band-aids and plasters to his American fiancée. Talking to a group of young people who have spent the last two days brainstorming issues as diverse as climate change, women's rights and sport, Harry said, don't get sucked into the system of putting on a band-aid, American style. Turning to his future bride, who was born in L.A., he explained that in the U.K. she would have to call them plasters prompting much laughter from his audience, including Miss Markle herself. A child like a Christian, 28, from Cameroon, a global peace ambassador, said, they were really laughing about it, it's a Britishism, right? He was explaining that you call band-aid plasters here. Harry's earlier gaffe, which was caught on camera, has prompted a lively debate on Twitter with users divided over the prince's behavior. One said, it's meant to be royals first then their spouse slash fiancé but love the face that Prince Harry always lets her go first. It's a sign of a good man and one that does not always conform to the rules. Another wrote, he's so used to going on engagements by himself and now he has someone by his side. Here come the tears. Commenting on the video, etiquette expert William Hansen said, from a protocol point of view, Prince Harry should have gone first as Meghan is the consort. But from a chivalry point of view it is always preferable to let your spouse or girlfriend go first, so he wasn't wrong but he wasn't right either.